civil rights attorney. Uh, good Summer's you on the here, program. and so it's thank time you to so enjoy much. the it's season. A, a pleasure. Uh, that means wait, it's time to find your yard with Scott. Thank you. It's easy to help your lawn stand up to summer's wear and tear. To keep it lush and green, and help prevent those black spots. It's time to get outside and enjoy every day. And first of all, I want your gut reaction to that. And Scott's got you covered. Because even though this summer may feel different, the best thing is to get out there and 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 get out there Public Safety the Department. The Franklin Show with Chris Merrill filling in would, on KGO uh, be 810. Beneficial to all of us. All right. I don't think anybody hey, wants to for making KGO part of your afternoon. But what it is, is going to be beneficial? My good and friend, how do we Chip Franklin, those changes? Help me out with that. Uh, super dynamite. Large, catch him, absolutely. Uh, and Nikki, and I've done, I've done uh, work on radio saying, stations uh, around the country. This is absolutely one of the most thoughtful to, uh, audiences I've his ever for a little bit. Uh, spoken with. But he so makes me an honor having you on here. I want to hear some of that really thought that you've got. To be fair, is that number do that long before Carol in for Chip Franklin on KGO 810. The Chip Franklin Show There is a chant going on when you see some of the protests happening around the country. There is a chant. Show. Maybe you've Filling seen in for the protests here, too. It's Chris Merrill uh, on KGO uh, From people who want to defund the police. You want to defund the police. Defund the police. And now, Minneapolis says, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to defund it out. the police. It is good talking with you. 888 is the number. It's 80. Minneapolis City Council actually said they're going to dismantle uh, there are calls the city's to police Defund department. the police. Defund the police. And, and I'm going to be perfectly I frank. i got to tell you, I heard that in my gut I don't know what that was like. Whoa, 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 whoa. I really don't have any idea. Whoa, wait a minute. Hang on. Defunding? Does that mean you're going to take Nobody away all the money? Nobody wants to see violence against Dismantling? Does that mean anybody, you're going to end right? the Nobody police wants department to see police altogether? Brutality. Nobody wants and to see that. without any what sort really of enforcement of the laws on the books, doesn't that become completely unnecessary? And we've seen Look, those I know there's a lot of right animosity about where somebody the authority is that following that orders and they still end up getting punched in the that, face. Right? I get that there's and a lot of animosity. These, these cases are starting and to come to light. Right? The, the, we're the good that. officers I know. But I don't know if you're like me. I love watching why that is. Right? The really great officers I know not only understand that, but you also know those officers deal with community policing because they know that community policing is the best way to prevent crime. Sometimes they know it. And they do it. got some mental issues. Sometimes they're just not nice job of it. We've all dealt with not see nice these, people. You know, right? these so let's not pretend the, that we live in you know, a utopia either. Goofy we mustaches need that are out there brave men and uh, with women their batons, and they're, who are they're there happy to, to start keep shoving safe. cameramen around. That. Or uh, pepper so when spraying you start saying defund the police, protests, I go, seen those guys, hey, right? Whoa! Kind of the, the type A. Let's let's Incident. not throw out the baby with the bathwater. Hang my on, life, you know, I'm all for reform. Sort of I'm all for different always, training. I'm all for different like approaches. I'm all for that kind of. But when you say defund, I'm trying to think of other people throughout the process. So, but you know what I'm talking. So, about, right, we know I about. Started looking guys. at what does that mean? It's like they have a gun, the so they think they're invincible. That sort of thing. Article that, that. Uh, was around New York Times had this. But the guys we really like, guys to defund guys and gals, are generally, generally seeking to, spending to cuts. The men and women that we like in uniform are the ones ever larger the shares of city budget. They need it in many cities and towns. And it's Minneapolis, for instance. And they never, ever, ever is looking to cut. Then you know that there's some guys that are like, I got a gun, I can't wait. You know that's And they're one point three billion dollars overall annual budget. Natural personalities, according to the city council especially the police budget in 2020 was one hundred eighty nine million dollars. She says she hopes to shift that money to other areas of need. In the city, but does that mean that so, we now that's from Minneapolis? You're saying they want to dismantle that, things. My guess is in Minneapolis when they dismantle. Right. Well, start joining me right now is a guy who might know the answer to this. I sure hope he does. Or they'll look at uh, some Richard other Bell incarnation of the uh, Richard of a C. Public Bell safety specializes in police brutality and wrongful death is, cases. Uh, he's actually I don't know if you've ever had the pleasure some, of meeting somebody some civil who works cases for the police himself, department, who is a police really brutality, great person, and, and I have had that some of these cases so many that times. if there were no cameras, I, I, there wouldn't I, have been any. Justice. I can't even. So, uh, Richard, it's I good to have you on the program. The, Thank you so much. How for, many uh, for great officers I've met? Tell me here, right? I've, what this means if we say I don't know of any really disband people that I've met. Police departments, right? In different cities, we've seen them on television. We've seen them in the news. We've seen the bad cops. We know that. Sure, Chris. Thanks for inviting me. First of all, how many great officers I've met? Here's the Problem. I don't want to see them lose their jobs. We're using words because like that's the person I want out there doing the community disbanding. policing. I think it's right. when you're on Twitter misleading. and you see a cop okay. who's We're who's in a, a rough neighborhood, having this false who takes a basketball away from one of the kids, social services and starts a game of one on one with the kid. Right? That's the cop we want. I, I don't want that guy to lose his job. Is you need to have but both the structural reforms in the police department to establish. When I see that, when I see that woman who's in a uniform walking down the street, and there's a kid who's obviously program. breaking the now, law, when you use a word having a lemonade like stand without a permit, when I see that, disbanding. This I mean, actually I, happened. I'm the kind of guy that wants to cuff and stuff. And like, listen, we got we are a nation of laws, rule of law. You don't have a permit, you're going to jail. But no, instead, what we see is an officer who comes by, maybe after somebody is called too, right? Some jerk like me who's called. 
like Mary's kids. I'm like, oh, uh, selling lemonade in a permit. County level and the officer comes up in, uh, and buys the lemonade. The LA Sheriff's That's Department the person Camden, it was Camden County see because, because they felt I don't that, see that the police departments in the localities were so ingrained so how, in how a how bad culture it? that they had to kind of start over again. How do we make this? They had this county how do we make this so that we uh, have police we're able to retain so the good people? We're able to eliminate the bad people how does and we're that, able to make sure that how does that the people coming work, in better or worse i mean how does that are work, trained in a manner that, that necessarily the good fix people. systemic racism right. some of it i think in, is in the opinion of, some of it of is many, they're saying well all you're doing is you're just replacing them, one bad apple with another people. bad apple not look the last the other thing that we don't want is every, we don't want to see a bunch every of situation police situation departments don't have enough but how does the public we don't want to see a bunch of public safety departments that can't answer the call public receives it like when something bad goes down we are breaking down what we have we know that doesn't work you're We're listening going to the Chip Franklin Show, filling in, in for Chip today. Model, it's Chris Merrill Compton, on KGO810. They've certainly improved dramatically from where they were. We have a, a the world is burning. That is now is and here we are. Course, and we have many more safeguards in place. Some kind of like, like a number of the things that frankly uh, I get a little bit confused. I don't even know what to do other than. Try Congress, to talk things uh, through with you. I think, frankly, I think having an open, honest conversation about things is probably the on, best on the way for us to advance our societies with civil discourse. The police I mean, culture and, civil discourse. and the police standards. It's the most powerful tool so we have. How does that? Soul. I believe that. I've seen. So bad here we talk. In the first right? hour, we and, talked and about we Tom can Cotton. Probably we probably named a few the that the president has Anywhere pardoned. Anywhere there's protests, so there's liable to be shares. unrest. <laughs> if there's yeah. unrest, we got right. that that have had troops. issues with race in their history. When the looting okay. starts, the show so, starts. All right. So it's sort of that authoritarian response. Got, I'm going I'm to use. I'm talking about Joe Arpaio, obviously. But let's let's People are getting let's use the Phoenix Police Department. Phoenix has seen a number of different protests. That's sort of that. They've had they've had protesters are saying we got to defund the police. Defund the police. Defund the police. I think that might mean something different to different people. There's reason for them to be upset I, I think that means something different or piles other. Some the sheriff say they don't want to hear police and there's actually a pretty good guy i know him but but I, i'm not if, quite ready this situation where they say well let's, no, let's wait minute, dismantle wait this wait police department and let's turn it over to this other authority that, i mean hey, again yeah. you're not really turning it over to anybody I that would want be to be able to call there would be a change but i don't know how that would be any better so how does that improve accountability right i still for for the people, Is otherwise, are we just going to have more people armed voting citizens for a sheriff versus standing an guard outside their homes? Uh, official on a Hang city level? Here. I'm not ready to go. Uh, how full how does that really a, change yeah, the system? Sure, Let's a, not yeah, do I'm that. Sorry. We got you some, make a good point. We have some so really great officers be, out there. We do. We absolutely do. 100 percent authority. You have to turn it over to a new authority. So how do we find that happy middle ground? 808810 like, is that number. It's 808810. John is in San Francisco. John, welcome to the program. Thanks so much for taking the time to call. Look at. It's not but enough yeah, just to turn it over to different people. You, 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 you agree. kept saying that you have, yeah. to turn over to you know, you have no problem with cops. Every cop you have met, they're very nice and they're very good. Are you a white person or a black man? right now. Oh, uh, you're right. I'm white. Uh, New York civil rights attorney uh, Richard right. Bell this, Esquire this, is joining you right me. now, and and uh, this, this find more at Richard C. Bell Esquire dot com. That's E S Q. Richard C. Bell E S Q. dot com. Richard, what are some of these reforms? We can get into that a little bit more. What are some of the reforms that we'd be calling for? If we're saying, look, we have to improve the system. The systemic racism has to change. We have to improve it. Here's where those improvements begin. What is the message that protesters need to? To rally behind and say, I, here are no, no, our demands. Please, this is what we want to see happen. And yes, we do all sure. know that there is good cop and there is the bad cop. But nowadays, okay. you know, I'm okay. talking okay. about the bad one. I'm not talking about the good one. We're talking about the bad one. But don't um, okay. tell okay. me as a white person, you never have any problem with the cop. Whoa, 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 wh
wait, 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 Congress John, is looking I'm at not, getting rid of that. I want to make clear you did, to you that I'm not you denying that there are bad cops. I want to make clear to you that I'm not out defending everybody and saying that somebody who claims that there's police brutality is wrong. I want to make clear to you that, that I absolutely understand the motivations behind these protests, and I agree with those motivations, and, and I also insist on reform, okay? But I don't want to throw out the baby with the bathwater. So that's that's my point here. And, and I... That's is a there a point. difference? Great point. Is, is there a difference? Lynch white guy. Uh, my uh, perspective Richard, is, is totally skewed. But John, are you telling me you've never met police brutality? You've never met an officer who's been uh, helpful? civil rights violation. Uh, aside from the uh, obvious uh, civil uh, rights uh, violation uh, of being really brutalized by an officer. Okay. But, but in the same way that we've got hate me. crimes, is there is there a qualifier to police brutality? I'm telling you when I'm sure what happens is it breaks down. So I'm telling me they smell marijuana in my car. Floyd family I mean, no, uh, no. would have you, you are, a, a civil rights you suit you, you under it as if federal like, law the for the violation of the No, I'm right not, John. I, uh, no, no, you no, keep no, coming no, back no, to that. John, you have to listen. listen. Uh, you listen. Uh, you but you didn't listen. That's my point. I'm not saying all the cops are good. I'm not saying that. I'm telling you that the cops with whom I've had interactions are good. Okay? I'm not saying all the cops are good. I'm not that guy. All Richard C. Bell is is with us right now. Okay. When we talk about defunding the these different departments when they're, they're bad, the when they do something oh, bad to you or dismantling you just seems the word Listen, itself man, if, you want, if you want me to take you seriously from some, right? from some different groups then we can't have this whole I don't want to good, not you say have law bad. enforcement we don't want right? to not have somebody have there to enforce the laws that are on the books for the better no, of the we have to be honest with each other and we have to listen we have to listen so much so when I tell you I don't think all cops are good I think there are bad cops gear when we, we could take listen, some of that money and put that. it towards social programs or mental health programs right? or things of that yeah, nature. Is, is this something Congress is considering right now? Yeah, I want you to fend yes, yourself, fend your, your, your face uh, black and drive on the streets and see what's going to happen to you. One of the things no, I, and I get the, your point. And I agree with your point. Uh, I totally understand, John. I understand, but you don't know the guys that I've met. Of, uh, local my, my, my other things I wanted to say besides really what I just said. Because we don't need every that. What we need is police, police in every police city in America. They should go back and sit down and review every single cop's file. People that Anybody, are in service any cops who has and more than doing five or ten our serious complaints, you know, they should be fired about was, before it's too late. Call them That's how I feel about it. And, and, I, I, and not call them I'm down with you on that. public safety I get that. Officers. I'm with you, man. Because if you did, just I, a tone yeah, of that. I can get behind you on that. We've it's already seen John. Thanks safety. for the call. I mean, I, I get it. Thanks for the call. Um, but I, we've seen it. We've seen that actually. We've seen some DAs that are saying, "I neck. won't take cases." We from have cops seen that in a few that places, right? But for the most part, it's still yes. the civil PD. rights complaints. Yeah. We're oh, well, starting to see that happen here, where people uh, are. Richard, the uh, system uh, pleasure having you on here as we talk is about starting to recognize and, and we'll, uh, the bad callers in as well. Uh, Richard C. Bell, Esquire. We, Richard in the, C. Bell, in the past, it's been sort of like com, you know, the DA uh, civil rights cops, attorney. Cops, uh, good having you on the program, yeah, sir. Yeah, Thank yeah, you so much. You know, that kind of thing. Pleasure. Uh, we're starting to see some change. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Slowly but surely, we're starting to see some change. Look at your feedback as well here at 8088. You hear the words defund the police or dismantle the police. We're going to see an end of systemic racism reaction in our to that lifetimes. because i'll tell you what mine we, is. we fought the uh, civil in, in war right but then and then we went through reconstruction what what sort of incarnation what sort of development of the, of the, we, the we still have people that are arguing that we have to have monuments